Good morning uh, once again from the Africa Sportsman team. We with Carl Stumfer in the wonderful Capri Vistra. Uh, Carl, you can correct me now with the right terminology again. No. <laughs> the Kwando the Kwando core area. Um, thanks for having us. Pleasure. Uh, Jacques, first time you you um, you out here in the Capri hunting with Carl, me and Ronald. Thanks for uh, thanks for letting us um, join on your hunt. Um, the main objective for this week is to hunt one of these um, magnificent old Daga boys that the Mduwo team are famous for. Eh? That's correct. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for the privilege to be here. And especially with Carl, I've always um, looked forward to be, uh, especially here at Ndomo and in the Caprivi. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank yeah. you. Ronald, you guys, um, we had a lovely trip yesterday. We had fly over, over the river there in, uh, uh, when we landed in Kasani and we had a, a nice drive here. It's always, uh, that first day is always <laughs> always quite memorable. And then obviously the first first night around, around the campfire. But you guys are set. Uh, you also also looking for buffalo this week, but but not only that, eh? Yeah, not only that, um, Stefan. Um, we keep coming back here, and I suppose we have to shoot other things than the hunt, other things than just the buffalo. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this week buffalo, um, maybe elephant. Hopefully we can connect with a with a nice one, and then um, then we'll see what what's left. There's some a few things left on quota with late yeah. season. I don't think. Too many more hunters are going to come this year. I think yeah. there's one more group call. Two more, two more groups. Two more groups, yeah. and um, yeah, so it's a it's a privilege being here, and it's uh, we'll have while we're here, we can just as well enjoy it. No, for sure. Call the plan for the day. We on day one of seven. Yeah, plan for the day. We're going to look in Sobe first for buffalo, elephant, maybe some plains game that we can see there, and then come back this side in the afternoon or early evening, and then start hunting here tomorrow morning. Perfect. Really looking forward to it. Mm, lovely. Let's get a move on. Thanks. Ronald, uh, what's happening? Hmm. We've just crossed some uh, buffalo tracks in the road now. Looks like two solid three balls. They're just checking the, the tracks for how fresh they are. It seems that it was this early this morning. They're just scouting now further to, to make sure. If they're fresh, we will probably carry on. Follow them. Quickly tell us what happened. It was a little bit quick for the camera. <laughs> well, we drove driving along this road looking for um, tracks of buffalo. So we came, we got a, uh, drove into a herd of, of zebra. And uh, while we're looking at the herd down there, in the next moment, a couple of them came out of the bush here. And uh, yeah, so I, got a, I think I got a good shot into the stallion here. It's, uh, it's quite as exciting. It's, this is a, a Chapman zebra that, we, that they get here. It's a slightly different variation to the, the Birchels that we get in South Africa. What's the difference? Um, well, one of the things is it doesn't have any shadow lines. Um, it's quite a beautiful looking animal. Let's go see. Okay, 
Okay, this uh, was probably the easiest shot I've ever seen on a zebra that did not go as planned. But <laughs> uh, yeah, beautiful Chapman zebra. Uh, Ronald pulled up the handbrake and uh, we walked about like maybe 300 yards, caught up with it and gave it another shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's our first day here in the Caprivia on the Sobe uh, Conservancy and uh, we've been driving around doing the roads, uh, looking for, for tracks um, and then uh, well, this late afternoon we, we came across a, a herd of zebra, quite a big one, I think probably around, probably around 100 At least or so, yeah, yeah, quite a big herd and uh, we got out of the vehicle and uh, you know, while looking through the herd to try and find one these two basically snug up from behind and uh, we uh, we got a shot on this one it's a beautiful old stallion you can see all the marks on his skin he's a real old fighter by the looks of things and uh, yeah what a privilege these are the the chapman zebra like i've said um, slightly different subspecies to the ones that we get in south africa um, the main difference is that there's no shadow lines um, this is a beautiful skin yeah, and what a privilege. Thanks, Hans. Uh, yeah, Hans. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hans. <laughs> Jack, you have a good night's nice rest. Ah, oh, lovely man. Thank you. Yeah, yesterday was very special, and uh, we uh, saw a couple of tracks, and uh, eventually we start following them. But unfortunately, the thicket was too thick, and uh, we we gave it. Um, uh, we decided we'll come back today. Yeah, and the wind. The wind also gave a swell or two there that I think spooked them. Of course, yeah. Yeah. The, so, wind, the wind changed the bit on us. Yeah, so the plan today is yesterday we hunted the, the Sorby Conservancy where Ronald opened the week with that wonderful uh, old stallion. Yeah. So this morning we're heading into uh, Babwata. We're going with Malan. Um, Malan, what's the plan for the morning or for the day? Yeah, we'll try this morning and see. It's, like you say, it's green. It's more difficult already. But yeah, we'll drive out and if we find tracks on the road, we follow the tracks see what we find or we might see some buffalo from the vehicle yeah if we're lucky and then we're lucky yeah that's it Maybe. Talk, mm. um, <clears throat> just a quick one on that on the double we didn't touch on that yesterday uh, just quickly tell us about that beautiful rifle you carry oh thank you yeah um i'll be using my vernicaron uh, 450 400 very special rifle to me uh, hasn't let me down yet yeah. and um 
a brilliant weapon, especially to hunt buffalo with. Yes, and lightweight though. It's, it's very, very lightweight, um, especially if you're on the tracks yeah. and uh, walking for vast distances. Yeah. Um, a superb rifle. Good luck, shoot straight. Mm, um, thank you. It's going to be looking, a memorable, memorable day. It and uh, what a wonderful place. Look at the setting at the back. Yeah, um, it was such a privilege to be here and looking forward uh, to a proper buffalo hunt. <laughs>
We just got very, very big track, old dogger boy. But um, it's about a day or what old. He has the next pan, so we're just following up on this side. Maybe some old dogger boys uh, were drunk to water here, so we're just having a look now. things of abandoning a buffalo track is two hours back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> 